Good evening, everyone. Why? That is what investigators are trying to determine following a homicide at a group home on Madison's east side. The shooting involved three employees of REM Wisconsin, and it left one person dead and another with multiple gunshot wounds. This all happened in a neighborhood in the 5300 block of Kevin's Way, which is where we find our Dave Delosier. Dave, have there been prior police calls to that home? Mark, actually, there, there has been very little, there has been no uh, known police calls to this home in the past in this quiet neighborhood. Now, this home behind me um, had been a place where three individuals with cognitive uh, disabilities had been being cared for. Last night, uh, two women, who, uh, two employees who were taking care of those individuals were, were working with them when a male employee showed up. Attention, city east units, north units, caller reporting that she's been shot. All of a sudden, a guy with a handgun comes in. Uh, he targets the two employees. Inside this group home, two women were caring for three individuals with cognitive disabilities when police say another employee, Ali Hassan, showed up. The female screaming and saying he's going to shoot me again. Screaming and then the line hung up. It was very chaotic. Black male running out the front. He is our shooter. That suspect drove his car a few blocks away before crashing into another car in this yard. Fortunately, a mother and a seven-year-old child in that car were not seriously injured. Ali Hassan fled on foot, but didn't get far. I have the suspect, 5026, Mary Turn. 10-2, he's complying at gunpoint. I felt like I was watching, you know, one of those police shows where everyone's running around and but it was in our front yard and they even had crime scene tape in our yard. Nicole Hoffman lives across the street from the group home. She says she knows the woman who survived the shooting and described how police rescued her. One of the victims get come out in the driveway and sit and she was obviously injured. The ambulance wasn't here yet so one of the undercover cops, you know, quickly took her away, I'm assuming to the hospital. That 31-year-old woman is now in stable condition, but a 23-year-old woman died from gunshot wounds. What investigators are now trying to determine is what sparked the shooting. I know people want to know why. Uh, what we know is they all work for the same company. But why this person chose to go in there and uh, gun down two women who were caring for these needy individuals, we just don't know at this point. Now, fortunately, the three individuals who were being cared for in this group home were not injured in all of this. REM Wisconsin, the company that operates this group, group home, says that those three individuals have been moved to a new location, a new facility, and they are being cared for there. Now, the identity of the woman who was killed in this shooting, that I, her, her name has not been released at this point, and it may be some time, uh, Mark and Susan, before that happens, because we're being told that she, uh, she may be from uh, Africa, as are several of the other employees who worked at this group home. All right, Dave Delosier reporting live from the east side. Thank you.